Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. I'm going over a review here of the market. I did talk about the market this morning in the room, and I said, you know what, we are so, so bullish. And I, you know, every time we continue to show any red, everyone then gets all excited and thinks that we're going to fall. We're not going to fall. When I saw the drop off again this afternoon, I did watch this. I was here doing stuff, and I saw it. <sighs> you know, and we didn't go anywhere. It immediately got bought. Let, let's, in fact, let's look at the 15-minute chart first. So we're going back here to February. Market gapped up. Rally got bought. Gapped up. Rally got bought, got bought, got bought. Rally, 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 rally. Gap down, didn't go anywhere. Immediately got bought. Kept going higher. This is all getting bought. The market's getting bought. This is all money, money, money flowing into the market. So then we gap down here. Again, didn't go anywhere. Look at this. Gap down here again. Didn't go anywhere. Look at this. And again, I'm really reading these gaps as neutral in the market because I'm looking at the daily chart when I'm seeing them. But on the 15 minute, it looks like we gapped down a lot, but we really didn't. Anyways, today, again, neutral, open, and I called the market long today. I said the market's going to hold today no matter what it does. No matter what it does, I said we're not bearish. There's nothing that we can do to be bearish at all, nothing. We had this fall hard, hard fall drop off on the 4th, it was yesterday. And we didn't go anywhere then. It's just, I mean, and you know, you know, the daily chart to me, and I thought we could blow higher today, but you know what, it looks like it's going to be tomorrow. And there's a lot of econ out tomorrow morning, so tomorrow is the day. And the econ's out at 8.30 in the pre-market, so the market could very well gap up tomorrow morning into the open and run. Tomorrow, tomorrow the market's going to run and be bullish. Wow. Yep. I, I don't even, it doesn't even matter where we gap. It actually does not even matter where we gap tomorrow and open, we're going to run tomorrow. I see it. Every time the market comes in and shows any weakness at all that people get excited about and want to short, it gets bought. It's, it's getting bought. I don't know how many times to say this. The entire trading action all through February, the drop-offs we've had the last three days, today, yesterday, and the day before, every day this week, Every time the market drops off, it gets bought. Every time the market drops off, it gets bought. Every time the market breaks alone and drops off, it gets bought. It's getting bought. This isn't traders that are making this action happen because traders want to short this market. So what's happening is every time it drops off and tries to get an attempt to any sell-off that happens or any shorts, it, institutions are buying it. This would not look like this the last three days. Or this, okay? If the market wasn't getting bought, it's new money, it's real money coming to the market, and it's not the end of a rally. This is new money. So in other words, getting back to what I was saying about institutions and level of commitment, if real big money, heavy duty is coming in new here, it's not going to be looking to exit it soon. Soon, meaning at the next target, which is 220, 225 of the full position because this is getting bought. The market is really higher for real. It's not just something that I'm saying. It's something that I see. It's something that I see and I've been seeing for a long time, but every day I'm astounded when I see how much the market's getting bought. I'm actually, I think it's fantastic. And even when the market breaks low, it gets bought. <laughs> Look at the tail that we made today. And we were red for a period of the day here, but it went nowhere. It was like nothing. Okay, the market is really strong, people. So the way I see this setting up is rallying forth and probably making a new high tomorrow. If we don't, tomorrow we will next week. We won't have any deep pullback that everyone's talking about. We would have done it by now in the drop-offs. And we're not going to because every drop-off is getting bought. Okay. So therefore, the, the buying is supporting the market, holding where it is now, and it's going to continue buying it and therefore supporting it to go higher. And that's how that's going to happen. The only way the market go higher is if it gets bought. And it is getting bought. And that's why it's holding. That's why it rallied up here 7,000 days in February and it's still holding. And I know people think we're going to come in deep, but that's not going to happen right now. So what I see this setting up is to run higher either tomorrow or into next week. Tomorrow looks really good because of the reports that are coming out. And then I'm seeing a run up to the next target that could happen as soon as in March, meaning 220, 225, those numbers could be reached in the month of March sometime. And after that, we'll see how we act. We could run up there very quickly and then pull back hard, but then we're still going to rally and make a new high over 220, 225. Or we could base, base, base here for a while and then slowly grind up to the number or just go up to the number, make a new high and slowly get to the number. And then we don't have a deep pullback still, even though we will have a pullback at some point. It won't be deep then. 
this will be really interesting to see how this plays out. But I don't think we base space here before we break out higher. I think we're going to do it soon. The way I'm seeing how we're acting here, I think we're just going to get over the high soon. And we should get up to the next number when we do it, even though that's 10 points away in this five. But, you know, it's, it's only $5 over the previous high, which was 215, 213 something. This market's very strong. I know a lot of people want to short it. I know a lot of people think it's going to break this year. It's not. How do I know? I know how to read gaps. We're reading the bullish gaps in the market. And I'm also reading the bearish gaps, quite frankly. Um, because I, otherwise, if I saw something bearish, I'd read it in, the, in a down gap in the market. The market's had down gaps, but they're nothing that I would have ever shorted. And trust me, I love to short. So if I am calling something long, higher, strong, that means it really is. Because I am an expert in seeing weakness in something, and I don't see any of it in the market. And even when it looks like where it is, I'm saying, don't, I'm saying it's not. This morning I said the market's going to hold. There's nothing this market could do that's be bearish. I said, in the room, I remember exactly what I said. There is nothing that this market can do right now to be bearish. So don't be fooled. Even when it breaks the low, even when it looks like a little bit, even when it gaps down, even when it has a little dini beanie red, even when it falls for five days here, there's literally, trust me, I, I really know how to read price action well. I know how to read money. I know how to read money. And how do I know how to read money? Because I have trained myself how to accurately read gaps. And they tell you what an institution is doing in the market, whether buying or selling or shorting. That's how I know. And I've just been doing this for so long. So the call for the market tomorrow, though, is extremely bullish. And the econ's coming out. Again, what if we would gap down tomorrow? What if the report would be as such that the market reacts negatively to the, to the report? What if that would happen? Then what? Are we falling off the planet? Are we having a deep pullback then? The answer is still no. So... <laughs> That's the story. Have a great evening, everyone. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. Email me if you'd like more information at melissa at thestockswish.com. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, March 7th and 8th. If you'd like more information, email me to sign up. Thanks, everybody, and have a great evening.